You are listening to the Atlanta Real Estate Forum radio show, all about real estate edition. Shining a light on the movers and shakers in the real estate industry. The home builders, developers, realtors, and suppliers making it all happen. And now, here are today's hosts. Good morning and welcome back to the Around Atlanta edition. I am your host, Todd Schneck, joined by my friend and colleague, Carol Morgan. Before we kick things off, we do want to thank New American Funding for being our 2021 show sponsor, now our 10th year on the air. It has been glorious uh, having the New American Funding as our partner. All right, Carol, uh, important conversation, neat guy, cool little organization. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, I think this is a this is a hot topic and it's one that's not talked about a lot. So right. I'm excited to welcome to the studio Desmond Mason. He's the founder of Nuberty Men's Wellness League. And he's gonna talk to us and tell us all about why men need to take better care of themselves. So welcome to the show, Desmond, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it, Todd and Carol. Um so yeah, I am uh, Desmond Mason, uh, founder of Move Your Team and Wellness League. Um, uh, I'm a, a father of three beautiful children and a husband. And um, yeah, I uh, I came up with this concept because I was getting older. Um, and as I started to get older, started to notice some different things about me um, as I was aging. Um, and um, you know, just seeing that uh, my engine wasn't running like it used to, and started started a quest for solutions and that's kind of what's uh what led what led to the uh to the creation of Nuberty. Well, for those listening who are not familiar, uh what is give us the overview of uh the mission and purpose of Nuberty. Yeah, so our our vision is to help men live healthier and more fulfilling lives. Um we found that there was a, a bit of a wedge between um kind of the traditional doctor's office and the the gym, right? Men um aren't head over heels about the traditional doctor's office. Uh, but men are very open to going to the gym and we're kind of right in between in that in that wedge. So we are a medical office, um, but we also uh, provide uh, services for men that um, that go beyond just not being sick and not having an ailment, but kind of living, um, living to your to your standard of wellness and, and feeling good as you uh, as you go about life. Yeah, you know, it's so true. I don't know the statistic. There's some statistic on, um, you know, men and I want to say most men don't go to the doctor until it's really truly emergency in a lot of cases. There's lots of interesting stats out there on that. Um, so so yeah, kudos to you. That's so true, Carol. I was just I was gonna share a couple of those stats. Yeah, uh, share a couple of stats. Yeah. Um, so you're absolutely spot on. There's um three stats that stand out to me. One is there's seven million uh, American men who haven't seen a doctor in over 10 years. Wow. Should be going should be going every year, or at least if if you're over fifty and under fifty, you should be going, um, you know, one um one to one to every one to three years if you're under fifty, over fifty every year. Um, also, men are fifty percent less likely to go to the doctor than women. I thought that was an interesting one. No and then the surprise. third one is that seventy two percent of men would say that they would rather be doing household chores like cleaning toilets than going to the doctor. But they don't do that <laughs> either, so that's not true. <laughs> But it is funny. I guess I'm kind of guilty too. Um, the last time I went to the doctor, I was hoping that they would just you know, call something in for me. And they're like, oh, Carol, we haven't seen you in like 14 months. You're going to have to come in. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, fine. <laughs> so I guess I don't maybe fall into that typical, the typical um, women, but I'm just never sick. So yeah, it's yeah. good to not be <laughs> sick. So talk about how you redesigned a traditional wellness clinic and concept to make it more appealing to men. Yeah. So as I was starting my quest for solutions, I just I found that there weren't any um, experiences that kind of met a standard of the expectation that I had in my mind that there would be this turnkey um, place where I could uh, get some get some solutions to um, what I was experiencing, which was um, the more research that I did. It was andropause. Right. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, it's a it's a pretty vague term. But um, it just pretty much captures what happens uh, for a man as we get older hormonally. And there are a lot of impacts. And those impacts are the, some of the same symptoms I was experiencing. And so I started to, to look for that turnkey solution to that. And I didn't see anything out there. Um, so uh, in knowing that men are not as excited and head over heels about the doctor, um, but men are excited and head over heels about competition and sports and the gym and 
we're, we're very active. I wanted to create something in between. So um, when you come into Nuber T, you don't go through a, a consultation, a medical consultation. You go through a wellness combine. And during that combine, we really get to know each and every one of our members. Um, internally, we have a lab in-house and we do lots of, uh, of different uh, analysis there in the blood work. And then we also look at lifestyle and we look at kind of where you are and your weight and all of these different things. And we have a proprietary process where we give you a wellness rating. And so when you get that wellness rating, now you, uh, you want to improve that wellness rating. So to give you an example, um, you can be, we've had some, some customers come in that are in their mid thirties, but their wellness rating is 65, right? So 65 years old. And it gives you, you know, it tells you how quality aged you are. Um, but we've also had people come in on the, on the adverse side of that, that are, that are, uh, you know, 50, 55 years old, but they have a wellness rating of 35. It has a lot to do with lifestyle and what we get back from, um, the, uh, the combine. And, and uh, naturally, you're going to want to improve your wellness rating. So then we take you on a journey. Uh, you go through our, um, our process and you begin your wellness season. Um, you, get a, you get a wellness playbook um, to help you out throughout the season. And you also have performance coach and uh, exercise plans, nutrition plans, lifestyle plans, that kind of thing that help you to achieve your wellness goals. Um, and also in that playbook are some, uh, some uh, uh, wellness enhancements that, that are administered by our medical staff. You know, we actually have discovered the fountain of youth. It's called exercise. <laughs> Ooh, really? I, I'm sitting here thinking, I'd like to have one of those wellness ratings. I think I'd do pretty good on that. <laughs> well, it's funny. I have a comment on that in a second. I, I think, you know, focus on wellness. And that's a, I think part of the problem with that is I think men think that's kind of a girly thing. This, oh, wellness is a... You know, and I don't think they truly understand what that whole concept means. And it's, and unfortunately, it is a kind of a broad topic that could encompass a lot of different components of it. So I think it's overwhelming, you know. And then if you subscribe to a handful of guy mailing lists, <laughs> there are literally dozens of articles about here are the seven things you should do a day and the 15 things. Of the 10 and it's probably overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff like that for and women. That's part too. of the problem, I think. Yeah. So, I, I think if we could, I think the two things are that could get most men re-engineered to think about wellness, uh, which in my view really is an anti-aging mm -hmm. strategy, Absolutely. Is, is getting the girlish factor away from what the whole idea of wellness is, but also to simplify this and, and strip it down to here are the key things that you need to really be focusing on and thinking about and living around. Right. Am, I, am I on the right path there? Oh, absolutely, Todd. It's a, it's a lifestyle. Wellness is really yeah. a lifestyle. And, um, and you said it best. I mean, the fountain of youth is exercise and it's also nutrition. Um, right. Those are the, those are, those are, those are foundational to, uh, to, to health and wellness. And, yeah. um, you know, men invest, I mean, you, you think about the responsibilities, uh, of, of, of men and, you know, we're, we have to lead our homes and we, we lead our, um, you know, our children and we, we coach teams and, you know, we're leadership in, in, in business and we're, we do so much and invest so much into other things. And sometimes it can get it can um, it can become wellness, can become less of a priority because of all the other priorities. Yeah. And so um, that's why we're here is in one of our, you know, our main things is, is lifestyle health. Mm -hmm. That's that's our number one um, focus. And everything else is just kind of it, it, it's on top of that. But that's the foundation. So you're, right. you're spot on. on that. Well, and it's so true because it is it is lifestyle and it's kind of everything in moderation. You know, you, you see people who go from, you know, not exercising, not not living a healthy lifestyle, not eating what they should to these crazy diets and crazy fads. And it doesn't last because it's not sustainable. So you've got to figure out what works for you, you know, Um you know, yeah. it, it's that, that's so much of it, because if you can't work it into your daily routine for forever from now for forever, it's not going to work for forever. But yeah, absolutely. And that's that's what's most edifying about the work that we do at Nuberty is that we hear these stories. Right. We hear the stories of our of our clients, our members that um, that say that this has transformed their life um, because wellness is so core to your life. You know, they they, they tell us that, you know. My relationship with my kids is better. My relationship at home with my wife is better. I'm performing better at work. I just, I feel better. You feel so I better. Feel better. Yeah. In all of these different areas of my life. And it's so pervasive. My wellness is so pervasive to, to everything that I do. 
that this has really instrumentally changed my life. And we hear mm-hmm. these testimonies every day uh, from men that come in and, and lose a lot of weight because um, we do medical weight loss or, or men that come in and they just, you know, they were feeling sluggish and they didn't have the energy and they weren't motivated to re-motivating them to focus on wellness and, and to hit their goals. Um, because yeah. everything we do is pretty bespoke and personalized. Well, right. it's going to sound like I'm boasting here. And I absolutely, <laughs> but I'm trying. You absolutely should, Todd. Well, <laughs> in, the, in the, just the downright anxiety and stress and uncertainty of the pandemic and the lockdown last year, I, I felt like I had no control over my life. And so I focused on the one thing I could control, which was my wellness. And, and in 2020, I gave up drinking. I hired a nutritionist. I joined a gym and have started a weightlifting regimen and lost 30 pounds. And and it has been, this is going to sound, thank you. This is, it's going to sound <laughs> weird, but it was life-changing. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the part of this that was, and I think you can speak to this a lot, is, was the weightlifting. Now I'm, was 51 years old when I started this and I had never lifted a weight in my life. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what a deadlift was. I didn't know what the clean <laughs> jerk. I didn't know any of that stuff. And that also made me a very good customer because I was this big block <laughs> of clay that a trainer <laughs> hold a good program. And I went into it saying, look, I'm not trying to become Schwarzenegger here. I, I want you to help me age better. I want, when I'm 80 years old, I want my knees to work. I want to be able to lift my arm up over my, over my head and not, it, not have it ache. You know I mean? Yeah. I mean? That's, so you have to look at this a guy like me in my mm-hmm. early fifties. This is an investment in living well when you're in your eighties, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, it's so true. Comment more on that, uh, uh, Desmond. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely spot on. I mean, it's, um, it's very important to, 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 to make it a priority, to, to make the sacrifices, right? I bet it wasn't easy making some of those adjustments to, you know, your, um, your previous diet and, you know, stepping into the gym for the first time can feel intimidating, like you just said. And, um, and then it's, uh, you know, it, it, it takes 21 days to make a habit. So probably those first 21 days were probably a lot harder than they are now. And you, you fought through that and you made the sacrifices and, and it was because of your motivation. Um, and so, you know, there's so many, um, there's a lot of men that are very, very motivated and we, and we work with them as well. Um, sometimes it's, uh, it's easier to work with them because they're so motivated that they, um, that they're, they're, they're a joy to do to, 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 uh, to service. Um, but we all, and, and we, but we also work with, uh, with members that, um, are not as motivated and they haven't been, they haven't worked out in years and they've been, you know, eating lots of processed foods on a regular yeah. basis and haven't thought about <laughs> their, their nutrition in, in forever. And they've kind of let themselves go. And so we, we, uh, we work on that entire spectrum and it's, it's just a joy to watch, um, you know, men focus on this and to see how it impacts their lives. It really is. Yeah. Really cool. Well, something I'm interested in hearing more about is your path from corporate entrepreneurship. Um, share a little bit about how, you know, you went from, you know, big corporate job to, you know, what you're doing now in that path. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I think that the, um, the, the people to celebrate in that question is my family, right? So, um, you know, I, this is a family business. My mom, yeah, she essentially runs the company. She's head of operations. And um, my wife is a great help to the, to the, to the company. She's a head of experience. Um, and she, she has a real estate background, so she's designed the facility to be, to look, nice. uh, to look so nice. And, and men, we get so many compliments on the, um, the facility. Um, and, um, and then also, uh, a very close friend of the family who's our, um, medical director. She, you know, I love to brag on her. She went to the number one, uh, school for internal medicine, uh, number one med school in North university of North Carolina. She used to be the chief medical officer, um, at Rockdale hospital. She's our, she's our esteemed medical director. Um, also, uh, my, um, my stepfather is our head of HR and my, uh, very close friend of the family runs our, um, uh, all of our sales and our marketing. And so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's really a family business and all the credit goes to them because I'm, I'm actually still able to do my, uh, my nine to five, just like I normally would. And, uh, and I know that I trust that the, uh, that the, that the operations are in great hands. Um, so, so that, that's, that's really who deserves credit on that. 
New American Funding is committed to delivering home loans on time while providing five-star service. Their 14 business day close guarantee and fully underwritten pre-approval gives you an unbeatable one-two punch impossible for sellers to ignore. For more information on New American Funding, call 678-898-3540. That's 678-898-3540. Well, that's a cool business in and of itself. Having it so intricately involved with friends and family makes it really, really special. You know, talk more about the actual services uh, that you offer. Uh, you know, one of the I'm eight months into my weightlifting journey, and and I, you could make the case that I know enough now to do this on my own, but I continue to choose to work with a trainer because of the accountability. Mm -hmm. If I know that Willie's sitting there waiting for me, I'm much more likely to go. You know, and and. Uh, <laughs> So talk, that's got to be a part of what you do for, for these men is, is saying, you know, I'm going to hold you accountable to focusing on this. And, and uh, that's part of what you do. But talk more about that and more about the services that you actually offer. I mean, you, start, you talked about the combine that you, to kind of give you that rating. You got to see where you stand and get that baseline. Yes. Uh, but go uh, talk more about uh, where you go from there. Yeah, great question. So um, you're, you're spot on in that it, it starts with lifestyle. So um, we focus really on, on five areas um, uh, for, for services, and we call it the wellness playbook. So our wellness playbook, we're going to focus on these five areas. Number one is lifestyle health. And that's that accountability piece that you talked about, um, that nutrition plans that we give and the exercise plans and that, we, that we give that are you know, tailored to the, the unique goals of each, of each customer. Um, also hormonal health, that's, uh, extremely important, um, you know, with, with andropause, the way that that works is that there's a, there's a, a gradual decline of testosterone and a, in a gradual, uh, incline of estrogen. And that, uh, that creates, uh, certain symptoms. Um, so some of it is hormonal and, and, and chemical as well. And so we really look at that and optimizing that in a healthy way. Um, uh, also sexual health is, uh, the third thing uh, that we focus on, um, Bone and joint health. You mentioned, uh, you know, bones and joints. Uh, they, uh, you know, they don't operate like they did in your 20s, do they? <laughs> and so uh, we, we focus on that and we have some services for that that are um, that are uh, generative, regenerative medicine um, and then also aesthetics. So that's the uh, the fifth area. So lifestyle health, hormonal health, sexual health, bone and joint health and aesthetics. Well, you know, Americans seem to take for, for granted that the body breaks down and doesn't work when you turn 70. That, that's not the case. The, the human body is an amazing instrument. And Absolutely. if you focus on it and you take care of it and you work it, mm -hmm. you, can, you can live well for a long, long time. We just, we just accept the fact that I'm going to sit in the chair and watch baseball and, <laughs> and eat the cheese puffs mm -hmm. all day long. And well, you're not going to, yeah. it's not mm -hmm. going to be a quality life. I'm going to be a member of the Century Club. When I'm in my 70s, I'm going to really? figure out the math, but they have a century club. So if you and your horse's combined age reach 100, or in some cases it's 75, then you, you know, qualify for all these different prizes. So I'm going to be in the old lady dressage riding club when I'm old. Yeah. That's my goal. Well, my dad <laughs> passed at 76, uh, could barely walk and was just not healthy. My uh, father-in-law uh, is, is about to shift to a wheelchair because he just can't use his legs. I don't want, I don't want to be that guy. I, I, right. they, I, I want to, I want to live well, you know, right. uh, and I want to, I want my brain to actually work, you know, yeah. my, my mother's late stage Alzheimer's. And so, I mean, I have yeah. all this motivation to say, I don't want to be that way when I'm in my turn 80 years old, I want to still yeah. be out there and active and, and, and lifting weights, chas well, chasing Stephanie absolutely. around. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he talks about that as one of the key five elements. Um, exactly. Uh, yeah. But, but Desmond, the work that you do is, is key to that. I mean, that, that's what you're doing is, is you're, is you're giving us a template and the guidance and the plan mm -hmm. to, to age well and, and find that fountain of youth, right? That's exactly right. And we hear so many stories of, of, uh, from our members that they talk about what you just talked about, which is some of their family history and what they've observed in their lives and, and what and why that motivates them. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, just one story I can think of is, um, 
uh, a gentleman that came in who was in his late 30s, was like 38, 39. His wellness rating was 92. Um, he wow. hadn't been taking care of himself. He hadn't worked out in, in decades. His, um, his belly was out to here and he, um, you know, was, uh, his confidence was down. Um, he, he said that his, it even, it even was impacting his mentality. Um, and his, you know, his cognitive ability felt was declining as well. And, um, and he came in and, uh, in bad shape, but, you know, three months later, I mean, he's like a new person. He's glowing. He had lost all this weight. He lost 30 or 40 pounds. Um, he was even saying that he was starting wow. to see, he was starting to see little ripples of a six pack coming in. He was, he was like, I, I'm starting to like notice, like, uh, you know, aesthetically. And, and that's just giving me so much confidence. He said, my energy is through the roof. Um, you know, his, uh, his relationships were, were, were improving. And, um, and we get to see things like that happen on a daily basis. And it's, uh, it's very exciting. And you're absolutely right. It's a, it's a it's something that um, that that people get motivated by when they look around at some of the some of the, um, the folks in their lives that uh, you know that they don't they show them a, a path of how not to do wellness. Yeah. So um, you know, use all those things and pay attention to all of those things and and uh, and, and make it a priority. And I, one thing I know about men when they're motivated and got their mind on something, you can't stop us. We're gonna get it done, right? So that's uh, that's that's the good news. Very true. Well, you hit on the key word there. It does build confidence, which then affects every other element of your life. And, and you know, um, you know, as I said, I, I didn't go into my weight training to be Schwarzenegger. But when you set a new PR on the deadlift, I mean, it feels good, you know, and yeah. it, it just feels strong. And you feel confident. I mean, that's the key word. And, and it and that, that resonates and, and impacts every other element of your life. Great, great stuff. Gosh, we... Uh, we could talk for hours on this. I, I know that I know that I certainly could. And and living how I have the last year has just been game changing. And so I know the the impact that you're having on on your customers. And and I I hope and pray that that more people kind of shift to that that focus because uh, it it uh, it's an amazing way to live. All right. Well, Desmond, gosh. Um, I'm all inspired again. <laughs> well, kudos to you. Kudos to you and your journey. Todd, uh, that's that's um, that's that's very commendable what you've been able to do in a short amount of time, and, and I'm sure you're you're on this trajectory for the rest of your life. So, congratulations to to making that shift. Well, you know you don't want to break the string, right? Uh, no. Now you don't want to go back, you know. And no. so that that's that's part of this investment too is that you realize I've come far. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to step back, you know. So that's that's part of it too. Desmond, uh, should anyone? need to connect with you and ask you some questions about this kind of lifestyle and, and certainly more, where do they get more information on Nuber T? Where do they go? You can go to uh, our website. It's a good place to start. It's uh, menswellnessleague.com. Um, and on the website, you'll see, you'll find a lot of information, but you'll also see a button for a league overview. Uh, schedule a league overview and you could speak to one of our wellness consultants and they'll walk you through our entire process step-by-step what that looks like. Um, also, follow us on Instagram and, and Facebook. Uh, our name there is Men's Wellness League. All right. Desmond Mason, the founder of Nuberty Men's Wellness League. Desmond, great pleasure to have you. Thanks for carving Thank out some time for us and uh, appreciate uh, the important work that you're doing. Thanks. You guys have a good one. You as well. All right. Well, that wraps this week's Around Atlanta edition. On behalf of our show sponsor, New American Funding, my co-host, Carol Morgan, I am Todd Schnick. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and listening. And we'll look forward to seeing you again right here next week. We'll see you then. Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio is made possible by Denim Marketing, the publisher of Atlanta Real Estate Forum, Atlanta's favorite source for real estate and home building news. Denim marketing is a comfortable fit, like your favorite pair of jeans. Denim marketing tailors marketing strategies to meet your specific needs and niche. Try them on for size. They will work to create a perfect fit for your company's marketing program. Call them at 770-383-3360 or send an email to info at denimmarketing.com. For more information on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio or to inquire about being a guest, contact info at atlantarealestateforum.com. 
Check out the radio show by visiting atlantarealestateforum.com or by listening to the show on your favorite podcast app. And if you enjoyed today's broadcast, we'd sure appreciate a rating and review on iTunes. Thank you again for listening, and we'll see you next time on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio.